everyone welcome back to my art channel my name is Chris and in today's video I have a very very special item that I've been wanting to get for a long time uh, so today we're going to do an unboxing swatching and like kind of first impressions but before we do that I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel I would uh, like it if you become part of this little community that I'm trying to be here that I'm trying to build here on YouTube so let's start so here's my package I got it today I'm going to open it with my sato knife right here. Let's do this. Okay. And let me know if you like this style of video where I'm doing it like this versus me showing it on the desk. So I know which one you like. Ah. Okay, so here we go. Ta-da! So this is the Da Vinci watercolor palette. Now I really love Da Vinci. They are actually made here in California and they do acrylic, oils, and watercolor. I think wash too. So it's a local uh, company that makes um, supplies here in California and the US obviously. And I think their products are actually very, they are very high quality and the prices are more are more affordable than for example Daniel Smith which is one of the biggest watercolor companies uh, out there that is also made in the US now I did order the palette and I ended up ordering some other supplies as well but this is the one that I wanted to get now Da Vinci has some some collaboration with some other other artists like for example um Denise from what's her name her channel is in liquid color. I'll link her down below. But she did a collaboration with them. And then um, the first palette that I got from them, it was by, um, what's the name of that artist? Something Journal. I'm so sorry. I'll link down below too, or I'll put the info here on the screen for you. But that palette was amazing. It was around 150, I believe their palettes run for around that price. But they, it really came in like really good colors. The quality is amazing. Like I said, I really love the, the, the company. And actually when I was ordering this, so I ordered it like, I want to say like two weeks ago. And I didn't get a confirmation email. You know how when you order something, you get a confirmation like oh, your shipping that uh, it, it was shipped and I didn't get that. So I thought that maybe it went into my junk mail or something happened. So I contact them. I believe on Tuesday and they reply right away and they told me oh I'm sorry like we didn't ship your um, package because one of the products that you ordered it was out of stock but we just shipped it right now and I really appreciate when a company replies to you right away because it really shows that they care about the customers so I love the Vinci I think like I said it's underrated they have really great products um, for a very affordable price so let me open it for you right now And I really like the design of their palettes. It's very sleek and very nice. It's really nice, gray color. And of course, it has a logo in here. Then, so the one that I got is actually, oh, it doesn't have it on the, it does not have the name on the box, which is a bummer. I wish you had, uh, I wish. You have the artist's name on it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it doesn't. So this is the Paul Jackson palette. And the reason I decided to buy it is because of the color story. Now, look at this. I don't know if you're able to see it. And particularly this color, Portrait Pink. So look at the color story. It's a little bit different. It kind of has your basic, you know, cool and warm tones, but it's a little bit different than you will get with traditional um, sets. So, and that's another thing that I like about the Da Vinci um, watercolor palettes that are, that they um, did with artists is that the artist puts their own different color story based on what they do. So for example, I think for Denise, it was mostly greens and earth 
because she likes to do a lot of um, animals in her works. And to be honest, for Paul Jackson, I haven't. I need to research more, more, most of more of his work. But like I said, I just love the color story. Look at that. It's very unique. It's something that you really don't see with other um, paint brands out there. So that's something I appreciate about the Vinci. So this is the color story. And this is the palette. Look at that. And their paints have like a... Like they don't have that... They kind of look like juicy in a way. I'm not sure if... If you know what I'm trying to, to say. There's some other ones that when you bite them, like it's just like a cake and it looks dry. This one does not. And I don't think their formula has any honey in them. So it's really nice to see them like juicy and moist. Hopefully you don't take that out of context. But if you do, then that's on you. <clears throat> um, but like I said, they're really nice. Packaging is really nice. I love the palette. Their pants are a little bit different. They do have their own pants. So let me take it out of here. If you see, for example, this is their full pan. This one. And this will be their half pants. Let me get some, um, some of the other ones that I have. Okay. So we have here two comparisons. This is from Da Vinci, from the first palette that I got. This is the half pan, and then this is a standard half pan from, um, you could buy this, those little ones on Amazon or on any other art supply uh, stores, and they sell them, and you see the difference? Like the Da Vinci one is just longer. And the half pans is the same way. So they do have their own, um, they do make their own half pans too. So this is Da Vinci. This is just a regular. So these are almost like the same, but the Da Vinci one is more square. If you could tell the difference. And I don't think they sell pans. They only sell tubes if you want to refill. And I believe Bleaks and Jerry's, they carry their lines. Not, not all the palettes. Some of the paints, they don't carry their entire line, but they do carry them on their websites. Okay. So, we have the palette, and I ordered three other colors. So, this is Artemis. Well, for what I saw, it's probably like uh, Daniel Smith Moon Glow. And then I have a little more here. If I could open it. So I have Mother's Violet. Now this color is another collaboration with another artist, but her name is Joyce. I believe Joyce also has a palette with them. And then I have Red Rose Deep, which is one of my favorite cool reds. And then Terracotta. Terracotta. This guy over here, focus. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to switch the camera angle and I'm going to do swatches and look at the palette again and the and the different angle. And let me know if you, like I said before, if you like me to start the video like this or if you want me to start the video in the different angle. I don't even know if that makes sense, but let me know. Okay, so we are back and I actually found the name of the palette. So it's Paul Jackson's The Wondering What Color Is palette. Um, I have to go on their website to look up the pigment information because for some reason it wasn't written here. So I wish they had just written everything here so I don't, didn't have to go over to the website to look for it. But we are going to start swatching and I'm going to be using my pencil Neptune flat uh, brush. It's one quarter. This, the Neptune line from Princeton is my favorite, favorite line. I think they are amazing and the price is really affordable actually. Mm. Okay, so we're going to start with Master Yellow. 
which is PY35 and PB43. Oh my god, look how pretty. Then we're going with Electric Lemon. It's like a very bright on your face. And I like some of the names that he gave to the colors. Like Electric Jello. We have then uh, Marigold, which is PY65. And look at that, it really does remind me of Marigold. Such a pretty color. Okay, then we go with Int, I-N-T-L, Orange, <laughs> P-O-73. Oh wow, that is bright. Okay, we have Fireball, which will be this one. PR 188 and PY 65. This color will be nice as, as a lipstick. And I need to see what type of work he does. I think one time I tried to research him and I couldn't really find anything. But um, I'm not sure if he does like portraits or something. Okay, anyway, so we have with Kath Mendu, a Listerine PV19. My goodness, if I'm reading these names wrong, please give me a pass. <laughs> I would appreciate if you do. But look at that. Look at that color. So pretty. Okay, then we're going with Rockstar Pink, which is going to be PR122. Put this out the way. This is pretty. I need to see if it's life fast. Hopefully it is because it's a really, really pretty pink. Then we are going with Tabernet, 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 PV19. <laughs> My goodness. Oh wow, that's pretty too. I, I like so far, it's like so vibrant, the colors. Okay, now we go with Avergine, 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 <laughs> PV19, PV29. If you know a reading tutor, please send them my way because obviously I can barely read. Another purple. I really like the vibrancy of the colors. Like, I could definitely see like the theme going on here, and I'm really intrigued to see his works because they look like um they look really vibrant. The colors, like the color palette. Okay, then we went with Deep Dark Blue PV27 and PV19. So nice. 
Chapter 8, Ultra Mining Dream, PB29. Earth Standard, Ultra Marine. Okay, MB, which is PG7. I am actually glad there's only, is it only one green? Yeah. Like greens are not my thing, but if those are, then I believe the Denise palette has more greens. I believe I'll double check okay now we go with portrait pink and this is the color that when I first saw this palette made me want to buy it so bad um excuse me I am drinking <laughs> this guy over here hey what's it called caramel frap they're really good Anyway, portrait pink, PV19, PV29, and PY6. So this color is obviously, obviously going to be opaque because of the white pigment added to it. Oh, but look at that, how pretty. Like you can still think, see that it's muted, but still very vibrant at the same time. So we have Submarine Yellow, PO62 and PY97. Get a little more water. Nice yellow. Okay, and then we get Sienna Fire. Which is PO62. Like, super vibrant. Cowbell is PR101. I am really happy about this palette. It's just so vibrant. The colors are so beautiful. We have Deep Purple PV23. Oh wow. Now this is... purple okay we have Jackson blue PV 20 a and PV 23 okay let's see this is nice blue too we have ocean PV 15 And the last one is Bora Bora Turquoise, PV16. So I really like the color story. I think it's really, really vibrant. It's really up my alley. I really, really love the portrait pink. I do like the rock star marigold. I do like that it's only one green because um, 
like I said before, I don't really use green on my work that much. So I'm glad it's only one green. I love the blues, the purples, the yellows. Um, just like, I'm, I'm so excited I have it. I think I'm going to keep it in the palette. Usually I take them out and put it in my collection, but I'm going to keep it in the palette as one unit. Because like I said, I, I feel like the color story is just very well put together. It wouldn't be fair for me just to take it out and put it somewhere else. Like everything just belongs here. Okay, so I am back and I swatch the other colors. So this is permanent, um, not Red Rose Deep by Da Vinci. This is one of my favorite colors. So I decided to get it too because I'm trying to build some other palettes with different color stories. And I already had it in, and I just got it as a, a full pen from, their, from the previous palette that I got. Then we have... Artemis, which I don't know if you could tell, but it's giving me some pretty nice granulation. I really like it. Then we have Terracotta. It's really nice, warm brown. And the last one that I'm just loving so much, Joyce Mother Violet. Look at that granulation and that color separation. I don't know if you could tell. So pretty. I'm so glad I bought this color. Uh, and then before I go, I actually have, I actually found the swatch card for the um, Scratch Made Journal palette. Now these are the colors that came in that palette if you're interested in that. That was my first Da Vinci palette and I really love the colors. Um, I loved all of them. I'm not really a fan of the Perlene Green. But like I said, I'm not that much of a um, green type of girl. I do like the green gold though. That's one of my favorite green uh, colors, green gold. Um, the red rose deep. Then I had the violet. Palo green is the same as MB. Mm. Yeah. So if you're interested in this palette, um, these are the colors, so you know how they look like. They were swatched on BU watercolor paper, 100% cotton paper, uh, which I don't know what's happening to that company because I don't really see them uh, that much anymore. I've been able to find them on Amazon here and there, but I hope I hope they're okay because I really like their paper. Uh, so yes, so here are all the swatches. Ah. So I'm going to link all the palettes, the Wandering Palette, the Wandering Color, the Wandering Watercolors palette, the Scratch Made Journal palette, and then the three colors that I just got down below, as well as just the entire Da Vinci website. Uh, please look through it, and see what you like. Like I said, there's oils, acrylics, watercolors, and wash. Really affordable. Uh, it's a company that's made here in the U.S. in California, so please support. Um, local businesses. I think it's a really small um, family owned company and you could also find them on Blix and Jerry's so I'll link those below too. If you have any questions please let me know and like I say before please like and subscribe. I would like it if you I would love it if you become part of this little community that I'm trying to build here on YouTube uh, and then I'll see you next time. Bye!